So I mm. suppose, Charlie, we'll start with asking health-wise, how are you doing at the moment? Sean, every day I'm facing a challenge. My voice has gone and that is why I'm talking to you with my voice bank app. My swallow is the major issue for me now and every meal I sit down to is a challenge for me. To be honest, I'm now living each day at a time. My goal now is hopefully to get to next Christmas and after that next May when I will hopefully still be around to see Bruce Springsteen in concert in Dublin. Sean, every day I am facing a challenge. And are you a bit sick of people asking you that question all the time? No, I am not sick of anyone asking me anything. I went public with my diagnosis because I was in broadcasting and I wasn't going to hide. In the end, by some miracle, going public led to Climb with Charlie and that now has reached an almost staggering figure of three and a half million euro raised for the two charities Pieta, the Irish Motor Neuron Disease Association. Now, you're obviously very close to Claire uh, and your daughters and your granddaughters. Has the diagnosis changed your relationships with any other family members? Yes, my diagnosis has brought us all closer together. The first thing to be said is that my wife Claire is travelling every step of the road with me. And I need her every day to be with me. It is tough for all of us. But the amazing thing about the climb of Krog Patrick was that my family were with me. And while it was emotional for me, it was very comforting that my five grandchildren were able to be with me. And in the book, there are amazing photographs of my grandchildren being with me at the top of the mountain. It is a great comfort to me and for the rest of my family as well. It might sound strange that I say this, but another comforting thing for me is my dog, Tiger. He is with me every day and he also helps me get through the tough time. I had often heard people talk about the love of their pet. Now I fully understand the way they help people emotionally. My God, I could not survive now without Tiger being by my side. I know Claire feels the same way. That's great. Now, uh, I suppose the question, you may have been asked this before, do you have any spiritual beliefs, any religious beliefs? And at this stage of your life, are you tempted to have any? Well, I'm not a practicing Catholic, but in a way I am spiritual. I have always believed in the goodness of people and in good karma. And since my diagnosis, I have received hundreds of mass cards and I have received them in the spirit they were sent to me. Uh, So Charlie, what gives you comfort? What gives me comfort? Well, the love of my family and the great support from my friends as well. But the whole support from everyone during Climb with Charlie has lifted me so much. It is hard to describe, but I have received thousands of letters, cards and messages of support from all over the country and they have lifted my spirits and they have given me great comfort. Sean, if I can say this, I am not the only one travelling this journey. I have got to know Vicky Phelan, who is a remarkable human being. And there are many people out there who have terminal illnesses and others who are in dark places and I want to give my support and love to them as well. I have been told countless times that I am an inspiration. I believe the real inspirations are the thousands and thousands of people who supported Climb with Charlie and all the people who extended the hand of friendship to me.